Hi, my name is Gareth Spence. I'm currently standing in the US headquarters of ADVA Optical Networking. In fact, I'm standing in front of one of the company's largest demo facilities, the place the company comes to showcase its latest technology. And that's exactly why I'm here today, to talk about a new capability that the company has released. It's all about fiber detection, and it has the potential to cause quite a stir in the industry. To help us do this today, we're joined by David Portier, who's gonna talk about this new capability and also show us a, a hands-on demo. David, thanks for joining me today. Fiber detection, could we start at the very top? What is it all about? Fiber detection is a new feature for an NE that when a fiber is installed, it's automatically detected by the software and then an entry is made into the database that represents a fiber connection. All the fiber connections in the database represent the fiber map for the NE. Okay, now you mentioned a key word, word there, automation. Is this something that's been manual up until this point? Uh, yes, until fiber detection, the user had to manually enter in each fiber connection uh, for each fiber they've uh, installed. Okay, was this quite a, a time-consuming and costly process? Yes, it is. Um, because you have to enter in both endpoints for the fiber and uh, for every fiber that's installed. Okay. Service providers have presumably been doing this the manual way for, for many years now. Uh, why would they want to change what they're doing? Um, well, with the size of the nodes, it, with uh, Rotom te technology capability, uh, the number of fibers have increased significantly in the hundreds to possibly over a thousand fibers. Um, so manually entering the thousand fibers is very time consuming. Um, so auto automatic fiber detection will detect these fibers automatically once they're placed inside the pores, once they're connected. Okay, Dave, that's a great introduction. What we're going to do now is actually cut to the hands-on demo. And David, you're going to walk through what we can see behind us here. Okay, as always, we got to clean our fibers before we install them. So a valid fiber connection is from a amplifier U port to a nine rotom in port, network port. As you see, and install the fiber, the LEDs on both sides flash green for the ports that I've connected the fiber. It does it for five seconds. If we go to the user interface and do a refresh for the PTP connections, you'll see the fiber connection that's written in the database that was just detected. And it's showing from the network uh, port, or from the U port on the amplifier to the network port on the nine rotom. If I was to remove the fiber and place it in uh, a different port on, say, a different module, the LEDs will flash red, indicating that the fiber connection is violating the existing fiber connection um, and is connected to uh, a pair of ports that's not in the database. So if I clean the fiber and place it back into the original port, then I do get the indication that now I've put, it in the, uh, put the fiber into the right port and I've got the right fiber connection. Uh, another example of a valid fiber connection is from a Rotom C port to another Rotom C port. Now place it in C port 5 on this Rotom. And the LEDs will flash green for five seconds, indicating that that fiber connection is in the database. Now I've decided I didn't want to put it in, in the C port 5, but I wanted to put it in C port 7. I just remove the fiber from C port 5 and then clean it and place it into C port 7. Well, the LEDs will flash red, indicating that I'm violating my previous fiber connection. So I'm like, well, I've got to correct this, so I've got to remove the fiber then go into the user interface. I need to refresh the screen so that the new fiber connection is displayed. Then I select that fiber connection and I delete it. Then I confirm the deletion. The fiber connection is deleted. So now I can go clean my fiber, place it into the Rotom C port 7, and now I get the correct indication that that's a valid fiber connection. That's the one I wanted. Now fiber detection uh, has three types of fiber connections. Invalid, which we get a red LED flashing for, uh, indicating that it's uh, incorrect. Uh, a, val uh, a standard fiber connection, which you've seen already, which is 
uh, flashes green to off in a, in a non-standard. So for example, if I connect a Rotom C port to the amplifier U port, the non-standard indication is it flashes from green to yellow instead of green and off for five seconds. It's a valid fiber connection, so it's written to the database, but the indications to uh, notify the user that maybe it wasn't intentional. So uh, you see as I connect a valid fiber connection, it flashes green and off. And if I uh, connect a valid non-standard fiber connection, it flashes green to yellow. And that's an that's a indication that both are valid, but they're slightly different. One is uh, non-standard. Now, another feature of fiber detection is it detects loss, uh, excessive loss on a fiber connection. So I'll, I'll use a uh, attenuator, a 5 dB attenuator, to um, mimic a high insertion loss or a dirty fiber. If I place this in the port, the, the uh, I've got to place it in the right port, uh, the LEDs will indicate uh, high loss by flashing yellow continuously. This stays on until the fiber is clean uh, on one or both ends where the dirty fiber is. So I'll remove the uh, attenuator which is uh, mimicking uh, cleaning the fiber and I'll actually clean the fiber and place it back in the port and I'll get the indication of a correct fiber connection again. Now, going back to these interface, do a refresh, and you'll see all three valid fiber connections, uh, two standard and one non-standard. Okay, David, that's a, that's a great demo. It's very simple, but it clearly highlights the benefits of fiber detection and this new automation. From, what, from my notes here, it seems to be three key points. One, it lowers operational costs. Two, it provides easy fault isolation. And three, it automatically creates a detailed fiber map. Are those the three takeaways? Yes. Okay. And is this uh, new capability generally available now? Yes, it's shipping on our latest product and our latest software release. Okay, that's fantastic. David, thanks for joining us today. If you'd like to know more about this new capability, or to speak directly to David or a member of his team, please email us at info at adveroptical.com or visit www.adveroptical.com.